Today's video does have a $20 giveaway, so if you want a chance at winning that, then all you have to do is comment your in-game name in the comment section below. And of course, if you want to play Aragon, then click on the link in the description that sends you to their Discord. And once you join a Discord, you can just go to the download section and download the client from there. A quick shout out to Worst Shot for winning the last episode's giveaway. Definitely don't forget to enter today's giveaway. And today I'm going to be picking things up where I left off in the last episode. I have to reach 600 Slayer points today to get a Void set for all combat styles. And that is definitely going to take a long time. So let's just go ahead and get straight into it. I started doing this in the last episode, but it really caught me off guard as to how long the grind was actually going to be. So I really didn't have much progress within that episode. And I'm going to do my best to avoid filling content in this episode and just grind a bunch off screen that way i can get this all done and start moving on to the next steps without boring everyone to death so with that being said i'm gonna go ahead and make one of my first true upgrades on the account and buy a whip which should speed up my melee slayer task by quite a bit and that is very important when you're trying to speed run slayer points you want to get those tasks done fast as possible and you know what i might as well get some dragon boots too they're not really that expensive and they will help me out when it comes to dps and i'm gonna have to have them at some point so if I can get them, I might as well get them. So that's what I'm going to do. There's 99 attack. Now my melees are fully maxed out and I'm pretty close to ranged and magic being maxed as well. I only have a few more levels for both of those. And of course, I do have to get my daily votes in to continue bringing in some passive cash for the account. I'm going to continue doing this as much as I possibly can because you get some pretty solid rewards from doing it. I'm also not too sure if there's certain NPCs that are better for collecting charms than others, but I'm just gonna go ahead and collect charms while doing slayer i'm sure there's some npcs out there like water fiends or something that drop really high rates of charms but if i collect them during slayer then i probably won't have to focus too much on collecting them at a later time just got 99 magic so ranged is the last combat stat to go and i only need 100k xp until i get 99 for that as well so that is going to be very quick to get and the next clip you see is probably going to be me getting 99 range okay well the next clip that you see is not me getting 99 range because i had to bank but since i did bank i might as well just get some ranged gear and go ahead and get that 99 really quickly just to finish up this task it shouldn't take long at all like i said maybe a couple kills and yeah there it is 99 ranged and now i no longer need to worry about training up any of my combat stats when i'm doing these slayer tasks i can just use the best dps for the task all right i decided to check out the pet perks again and it's a really good thing that i did because i'm gonna go ahead and get this slayer accelerant perk to get bonus slayer points per task completion and this might be a little bit overkill, but I'm going to go ahead and boost this up all the way to the max, which is going to cost a pretty decent amount of achievement points, pretty much all, well, about half of the achievement points that I have here. So that is pretty expensive, but I think it will help out in the long run. So that leaves me with only 30 achievement points left, which is a pretty low amount. So I might as well just get the melee striker perk too, and just start working my way up to getting more achievement points from scratch. But yeah, normally I would end up getting eight points per easy task but now with my perk being fully maxed out i should be getting 23 and that is a huge boost okay clearly i have no idea what i'm talking about because i just got 71 points somehow for completing that task if you're enjoying the content then definitely consider joining my discord server this is the best way for me to interact and engage with everyone on a more personal level i spend plenty of time here every single day so if you want to chat or just hang out for a little bit then feel free to do so on top of all of that i'm planning on doing plenty of fun updates events and giveaways on this server. The link to join will be in the description below and I'd love to see you all there. Oh yeah, so when I unlocked this perk, the perk description said that I was going to be getting 5 to 15 extra points per task. So I thought it was from tier 1 to tier 3 I'd get 5, 10, and then 15 as I upgraded it. But the 5 to 15 points was just the base range that I could possibly get when it comes to the boosted slayer points. So every time I leveled it up, I was getting a higher range and now I'm going to be getting around 50 to 75 points per task clearly worth it in my opinion because originally i spent all my achievement points on this and thought i was only going to be getting 15 so 50 to 75 is way better and definitely worth it all right so now i'm up to 428 slayer points and this will be my 20th task in a row so i should get a decent boost from the task streak and my perk is going to help me out a bunch as well plus this is a longer task so by default i will be getting more slayer points than a quick task anyways so i should be getting a ton of points from this 
this and I really can't think of a better task to get for this situation since dark beasts are aggressive so it's semi afkable I just only have to focus on my prayer points and I get some solid XP from this as well so I really just have to sit here and do nothing for the most part and I'm gonna be getting a ton of slayer points I think okay I'm gonna stop pretending like I know anything about anything because I didn't get a task streak boost maybe it's for 25 not 20 but I'm still up to 530 points, so one to two more easy tasks will do the trick here and allow me to get my void sets. And finally, after a lot of hours of grinding Slayer, I finally have 600 points so I can complete my adventure path step of spending 500 points and also get my void set with all combat styles, which is a huge upgrade to a new account. If I would have gotten this Slayer Accelerant perk sooner, then it wouldn't have been such a long grind, but I'm still new to the server and I am learning new things every day so stuff like that will happen but at least I know for now and I'm gonna be able to farm slayer points a lot better in the future so let's just quickly buy all this void gear for every combat style and oh wait do I not have enough for gloves yeah I don't have enough for gloves okay I'll be back in 20 minutes after doing one final task <laughs> that is so annoying okay just about to finish up this task so I will be getting my void gloves and after that we can finally move on from slayer because I am ready for a break from slayer I do not want to do this anymore it's taken so many hours okay yeah not only is this a massive gear upgrade for a new account but I also have the slayer accelerant as I mentioned earlier which will help me get a ton of points in the future when it comes to getting extra void sets for upgrades in order to get that gold void set that I've been talking about the past few episodes. So this is a very good investment in my opinion. But for now, let's go ahead and claim my reward from the adventure path, which is 250 extra Slayer points. And now I have to defeat any wilderness boss 10 times, which is interesting. Apparently the Necromancer and Chaos Elemental are the easiest bosses in the wilderness. So I'm going to try out the Necromancer for these 10 boss kills and just see what that's all about. And my setup here is going to be pretty newbie still because I'm going into the wilderness and I don't want to lose my void that I just spent so many hours getting so I'm just gonna go ahead and use my rune armor and just hope for the best. The wiki did say to pray magic but it didn't mention any mechanics so I'm guessing that there's just not any mechanics I just pray magic and bring food and just eat whenever I take damage and, and try to DPS it as much as I possibly can with my rune setup. Okay, I don't know if I'm drunk or something, but I've been looking for this boss for like 10 minutes and I cannot find it, so I don't know what to do right now. It says on the wiki that it's supposed to be here, and I even used the teleport to get here, and I just cannot find it. Alright, well I guess I'm fighting the Chaos Elemental because the Necromancer must be on lunch break or something. <laughs> it's just not there. I cannot find it. Oh, there's my first slaughter key drop, and I'm getting a decent amount of slaughter XP as well so that's cool I don't know why but I keep forgetting about this slaughter skill and it's it, I think it's pretty cool I'm not too sure how common these keys are when you're doing any sort of bossing so I'll have to check out the drop table for these keys later to see if there's anything that I can get that's good okay that's 10 wilderness boss kills I'm gonna head home open these keys and claim some adventure path rewards this was actually pretty easy because the chaos elemental doesn't do any damage if you pray magic yeah so I got 10 manta rays and 100 kgp from those slots keys so that is not great <laughs> to be honest it is, is not good okay let's go ahead and claim these rewards from killing 10 wilderness bosses and claim the next reward step as well because I have already done 15 slayer tasks I've done way more than 15 but yeah now I have to kill three world bosses for my next step in the adventure path so now I actually am in a pretty good situation because I have enough slayer points to get extra sets of avoid gear for the upgrade to get the gold ripped avoid I think it's called but I do need upgrade tokens and I need four of them just to have a chance of upgrading and they're pretty expensive. I'm gonna have to work on getting some cash in order to buy these tokens because they're 100% needed for the future if I'm gonna upgrade item. Actually I think I do have around 10 mil in tickets here mainly from the PK tickets but I'll throw these in the GE and just hope they sell by the time the next episode goes live and maybe I'll have enough cash to get some upgrade tokens from that but we'll just see what happens. I don't know if they will sell and I'm just barely not able to afford the Sanctify fighter and healing fighter perks with these monster tickets that I have but I will get the sanctifying fighter perk for god that's such a that, that's a tongue twister right there but yeah, I'll get this perk for now and I can just save up a little bit in the next episode to get the healing fighter perk and that will help a lot for Slayer. But yeah, that's where I'm going to be ending things for today. If you did enjoy, then make sure to let me know by leaving a like. And if you want to see more videos like this in the future, make sure to subscribe with notifications turned on. That way you never miss any of my content. 